Hi guys, welcome back for another one. I am Mr. Free to Play. That is right, I'm a free to play player and I give free to play player advice, tips, tricks, and other things. It's another Friday, so it's another orb opening show. This one's going to be a little different and I'll explain it when we get into the video, plus some other channel updates that I have to give. So guys, if you're ready for it, sit back, relax, and let's get into it. The first thing you guys see up on your screen right now is my brand new logos for my channel. And I just want to give a shout out to Strider who did a fantastic job on his logos and brought a vision to life that I myself could not see. When he first pitched me the penguin idea, I was a little hesitant first trying to figure out where is he going with this? And then I'm going to read a message he sent to me the moment he sold me on the penguin as being my channel mascot. And this is the direct quote I got from him. I found penguins to be rather similar to the innocence, temperament, and characteristics to the free-to-play player. They are plentiful and they are vastly characterized in personality like free-to-play players. And they are agile and are often dangerously around whales slash krakens. So I'm thinking a penguin that is different from the rest. And then he decided to go with the rock hopper penguin. So that was the moment he sold me on it, and I, it absolutely looks great, fantastic. If you guys are looking for someone to do some graphic work for you, or you're a YouTube creator and would like some, you know, updated graphics for your channel, the link to Strider's Facebook page is in the description down below. You can click on that link and send him a message there in Facebook, and I'm sure he'll get back to you. Now, some other channel update stuff, slash real life stuff going on. So guys. For those of you who've been following me for a while and watched my video, um, I think it was titled, it was a viewer requested type video of like how I get everything done in a day. And in that video, I guess I explained my personal life at the time, how I had a full-time job. I was a part-time real estate agent and then I did YouTube on the side and you know, and I played this game in between all that. And I kind of broke down how I managed all that stuff. Since then, I have lost that full-time job when Businesses were closed down and labeled non-essential. My business had to close up for good. Um, I haven't been able to practice real estate because it's been shut down by the state. And as of yesterday, it is now fully back open. And you can imagine anything that gets open after two months, it's just going to boom. So right now, I'm getting a lot of phone calls. Um, my clients have been waiting for two months that just didn't have a contract on a house when the shutdown happened, you know, are eager to get back out there. Since everyone's, you know, excited to get back out there right now and blowing my phone up this Saturday and Monday, I'm just going to go ahead and plan for no videos to be out. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that in advance, if I'm able to work on videos, that's great. I can get ahead of schedule. I'm still able to work on videos. I just, just don't know how much time I'm going to have to actually finish them. Cause some videos, you know, some videos will take me up to two hours. Some will take me six to eight, depending on what I'm doing. But don't worry, content will keep coming from this channel. And speaking of the content from this channel, a lot of you guys saw that I started posting a brand new account of a free to play walkthrough. That account is gonna keep continuing. You're probably gonna see a lot of videos at first from that account, just because there's so much going on when you first begin this game. But eventually that video is just gonna start turning into a weekly update once I've unlocked the content and have, it's really nothing else to new to talk about, but yet give you progress updates as it goes. So yes, you're gonna see a lot of that right now but eventually it's gonna to tone down. You're only gonna see it once a week, just like you see some of other shows once a week. And for those of you keeping track of the Taskmaster campaign and where I'm at, you can see right now there are nine days, nine hours left. Um, by the time you guys see this video, there'll be approximately eight days, eight hours left, uh, somewhere in there. But as of that time, I have 18 masterclass orbs currently. And then the next update is on Symbiote Spider-Man that you guys voted for and Choose My Fate. You guys are seeing the clip on the screen right now. Uh, I have them to tier 10, but I am starving for the advanced phosphate uh, gear. It's just, apparently he takes a lot of it. I'm just out. It, it's a repercussion of just doing Black Bolt before this character. And you guys see me open up the bio gear purple orbs and now we're back with my spider-man and you guys can see i can level up some but i know i did not pull near enough to get him go get him up to tier 11 at least i don't think i did oh maybe i did nope one short i didn't figure i, I didn't think 20 something was going to do it 
But guys, that is my progress to me with Spider-Man. It's probably going to be another week, possibly two before he's done. But guys, I'm looking forward to the next Choose My Fate, and I hope you guys are too. And now, the million dollar question is, why is this not labeled as the Friday Orb Opening Show, and why is this labeled as the Ultimus Orb Opening Show? Now, I know previously I said, guys, I do my elites on every even show. This is an even show. Sometimes as a free-to-play player, you have to be able to think ahead and be able to plan for the future. And what you guys are seeing on my screen right now are the Inhumans. As you guys can see, there are four days left to go to Ebony Mall, and I am one shard away from finishing Karnak. So I, for the first time ever as a free-to-play player, I am going to be able to unlock a Legendary on his very first pass. This is a huge milestone for me. Uh, this is something I've never been able to do before. And to be able to do it, feels like I finally accomplished something in this game, even though I've accomplished uh, plenty. But it is a huge one. So, with that said, right now, Call is the Red Star character. And most likely, the next up is Ebony Maul to be the Red Star character. And this is the reason why I'm not going to be pulling Red Stars in this episode. I am more than willing... To spend resources to put stars on Call Obsidian, considering the fact that it could probably will only be a two, three star unlock max for me. And the silver promotion credits for three does not cost that much. As where I know for a fact I'm going to get a five star Ebony Mall. And I don't trust Foxnex's schedule of how they do the drop rates for characters. And my concern is that Ebony Mall comes right after Call Obsidian and come next Friday. He's no longer the drop character. So in the event that Ebony Maul comes out and his drop rate ends before I'm able to record the uh, Friday Orb opening show, I'm going to have to do the Friday Orb opening show early. And then I'll just release it on Friday, but I'll have to do it early just to increase my chances for Ebony Maul. In that episode, I will also do the elites. So hopefully you guys understand why I'm not doing red stars. Hopefully you guys support my decision on that one. But with that said, the reason this is called the Ultimus Orb Opening Show is because I'm going to unlock Ultimus in this video. As you guys see on my screen right now, I am 64 orbs away from unlocking him. But before we do all that, there are two orbs that we are going to open besides the Ultimus Orbs in this episode. First is the Alpha Orbs. The Alpha event ended just recently and I have 19 orbs to open up. This is probably my favorite orb out of all the Greek Raid Orbs. And there's one reason behind that. It is the Mystic Controller Orb. That's what I'm naming it. I don't know. It's probably just the Mystic Orb, but actually it might just be Mystic Villains. I think it's just Mystic Villains. But with that said, it's got Loki, Hela, Ronin, Nobu, and Mordo. And it does have Hand Assassin if you want to go that route. But it does have all six characters in it that unlock Phoenix. And I don't have a seven star Phoenix yet. So this orb is a huge win. Now, obviously I can get other characters that don't help me towards Phoenix, but most likely I will get shards that help me towards Phoenix. I already have her unlocked at six. I want to get her at seven. Not only that, Loki and Hela, uh, get my Asgardian seven stars, please, as fast as possible. So this is the best Greek raid orb they have. Um, I wish they were, I could say this about all of them, but I cannot. So this is by far my favorite. Let's get cracking. Oh, and a 14 hella on the side to start. Now we're going to recap it all once I open up the second half, but that was a great thing to see. And the last nine. And another hella. Hella dropping today, buddy. Sorry for that loud one. I might have to edit that out. <laughs> 46 hella. Hello lottery. That's huge. That is huge. Uh, she is a planned character to take in Dark Dimension 3 for me, so, ooh, yes, please. 18 on Ronin. I think Ronin, yeah, Ronin's done. Mordo, Mordo's done. Ooh, I didn't get any Loki. That, that hurts. Nobu, getting there. I pretty much gave up on Hand Assassin, but if he accidentally gets the 7 before Hela, then he accidentally gets the 7 before Hela. Any way to get that seven star Phoenix, put it that way. And I'm gonna open up my 10 gold orbs this week also. Uh, my money's been pretty stable, even though I felt like I've been spending a little extra. Uh, but I think there's some reasons why it doesn't really seem that much of a difference. One, 
to get Ultimus Orbs up to 30, which you guys are going to see, I have 30 Ultimus Orbs. To get that number up, I actually leveled up War Machine to level 7. And in case you guys haven't watched my previous videos, I made a joke, I think in one of my roster reviews, that I literally have enough shards of War Machine for an 8-star character. So when I converted him, I got two Ultimus Orbs just converting him to 7 stars. That's how far over I was over seven stars for him. So that cost me quite a bit. I know I've been working on taking Hella to level 75. So I know that's been costing me a little bit, but yeah, I've been spending a lot of gold. I opened up some Blitz Orbs to help get my Ultimus Orbs up yesterday. I got over half a million of gold just opening up like, I think like 90 Blitz Orbs. But 10 open, here we go. One, two, and three. Oh, another gold drop, but only a million on the side. Not that two we got last week. Oh, but, ooh, sweet stuff. Sweet, sweet, sweet stuff. All right. And then for our finale, guys, this one's going to be a long one. It just is what it is. Um, I'm going to make up for that not posting a video on Saturday and Monday this week coming up. But yeah, but I have 30 of these orbs to open up. It's been months, and I mean months, since last time I opened up an Ultimus orb. In those months, a lot of characters have been added to this orb that I would really like to have, such as Hella. We're gonna, we're gonna break, actually I'll just open up the orb here and we'll take a look at it. I mean, I'm not, I don't have any plans for Blob yet, but I wouldn't mind getting him. Colossus wouldn't mind getting him. Corvus Clave wouldn't mind getting him. Crystal, save me on arena credits, don't mind getting her. Uh, Elsa Bloodstone and Ghost Rider help my Supernatural out, I will take it. Uh, Graviton's pretty far behind on my aim team, so I wouldn't mind either. Any of the Asgardians, Heimdall, Hela, uh, absolutely, Karnak, Loki, Mr. Sinister. Even just getting Nobu will help me finish him off. Proxima Midnight. Uh, Science Supreme still has plenty of stars to go. Uh, Sif. Yes, Sif. I will take all 30 Sif if you want to give me all 30 Sif. I don't know if I need that many to max her out, but saving, me, saving my war credits is a huge plus. Sif's not bad. Thor's still not done, even though he's in the raid store. I don't know why he dropped so slow. Uh, Toad, yes. Uh, Ultimate's obviously an option. I think Vulture's, yeah, Vulture's done. Vision, I wouldn't mind. And I think that's pretty much where it ends. And I don't think I'm done with uh, Venom yet either. So you got a lot of characters that were added to this orb that from since the last time I opened it were not here. I purposely last night opened up Raid Orbs, Blitz Orbs, and leveled up War Machine to get me to 30 orbs. Cause I thought even if Ultimus doesn't drop in the middle, with 30 orbs, he should drop enough times. Well, he will drop on the sides, but I should get enough times where two shards hit and not one to get me those 64 shards I have left to get. So without any further ado, let's get cracking. Now I am gonna open these up a little bit faster speed than normal. We will review all the characters at the end uh, that I pulled. Uh, I've seen some good characters here to start. And I've seen some bad ones here to start. I'm hoping for a big one here. Not getting too excited with some of these that I'm seeing. And the other thing is, I really hope next week they don't do an orb opening event because I literally been saving these orbs for an orb opening event. Um, when I, I figured out in my head that I wasn't gonna do red stars this week, I had to come up with a nice alternative. I will take that and now finish Karnak for me. Anyways, I had to come up with a alternate solution and I thought unlocking Ultimus is a good alternate solution to not opening red stars this week for you guys. As I know a lot of you guys look forward to this show every single week. Corvus Clave. I wonder what Column City will get added to this. I mean, they've been adding characters pretty quickly to this orb. I just wish they would take characters out, especially the Blitz Orb characters. There, you just seen Crossbones. There we go, Drax. Another Blitz character, just, you know. I really wish Blitz characters would get removed from this orb. That's one thing, like, I... I think every time they add a character, they take a character out and they can start taking out the uh, Blitz Orb characters. That's like the easiest characters to get to seven in the game. Quite a few Heimdall. I think it's at least the second time I've seen him. Ronin. 
Not seeing any Hella. I was hoping for some Hella. Like, I really want to get Hella to seven stars as soon as possible. Oh, there's a blob. And that's our last orb right there. Now, I probably will end up earning more for this, but the purpose of this video was to unlock Ultimus, and I think we've reached our goal. But anyways, let's collect this and see what, everything we got. All right, so 69 Ultimus is definitely past 64 we needed, so he is unlocked. So I reached the video objective, guys, and we'll unlock him here at the end, along with any characters I feel should be ranked up immediately. Uh, Electra, not one of these ranked up immediately. Colossus, he's not built, so I'm not gonna bring him up uh, I'm not gonna rank him up immediately, but that's nice to see. Proxima Midnight, Elsa, she's so far away from that six. Bullseye, are you kidding me? <laughs> I had to throw that in there. Uh, Doctor Strange. Man, for a character that it's been around since the beginning, I don't have a whole lot of shards of him. Science Supreme, oh, that's an immediate rank up there. All right, so we gotta rank up Science Supreme, that's one. Uh, America Chavez, and chucking along, Mr. Sinister chucking along. Ant-Man, that's a Blitz character that's maxed out. Daredevil's maxed out. That's awesome. We'll rank up Karnak. Drax is another one maxed out, but yet he dropped twice. Another Blitz character. Corvus Clave, so far away from that four star. Um, you can see, guys, I don't fare well in Blitzes. Um, it's kind of a disadvantage of being free to play. And also making YouTube videos. I don't really have a chance to get on and Blitz that much, but... Quite frankly, I think I'd drive myself nuts. I mean, I've been blitzing quite a bit just for the power cores right now. And <laughs> I'm shaking my head on this side, guys. Groot's maxed out. Scarlet Witch. Oh, we are going to rank her up right away. Actually, she could have been ranked up a while now. Uh, Crossbones, that's straight up Ultimus. Heimdall's done. That's four we rank up. I'm going to be out of money. Um, I'm going to pay attention to my money. If I do max out my milestone, I'm going to have to not rank some of these guys up. But if I can, I will. Sif, 15, she saved me three times spending more credits, so that's a couple. Ronin, maxed already the thing. I don't I haven't built a Fantastic Four yet, and even though he looks like he's six stars already. Mantis is a Blitz Orb character that's done. Human Torch is ready to be ranked up, but not for this video. Blob, still not ready to go to his third star. And Captain America can be ranked up, but he's not a priority one for me, so I'm not gonna rank him up. He's not on any official team that I use. And let's go right into recruiting Ultimus. So I believe I'm on day, I want to say 529 is what day I'm on right now. And I finally, as a free to play player, have unlocked Ultimus. Now there's a nice rumor out there that, uh, Ultimus, Taskmaster, along with Karath, Merc Lieutenant, and Merc Riot Guard make one of the best war defensive teams out there. We just heard about it. Uh, so my some of my alliance mates have put that team on their defense. We're waiting to see how it does. But I honestly want to be able to have this team as an option just in case they turn out to be some super meta that we're not prepared for. That looks good. All right, let's see what other characters I said I was going to rank up. There was four of them, I believe. All right, I had to check out my uh, money situation for the day. So I basically can't spend over a million. I can, actually, I can spend just a tad bit over a million, but a million is kind of my cutoff right now. But anyways, let's start with Karnak. And that's going to guarantee that I am ready for Ebony Maw. So, whew, good stuff. Scientist Supreme. And who is next on this list? Oh, Scarlet Witch. Oh, and Heimdall 7 k character. I'm going to overspend a million, but for you guys, it is worth it. So many characters. Heimdall. This is also a good point of why you don't max out characters in the arena store you, you take them up to where they have like 50 left and you let the orbs do the rest trust me you'll save yourself so much arena credits and you'll get through your characters a lot faster in the arena store but guys with that that is the episode that is the video 
like I said, this one's pretty much a long one. I appreciate you guys sticking through with it. And just a reminder, if you're looking for someone to do some design work for you, the link for Strider's Facebook is linked in the description down below. If you guys like this video and like to support the channel, don't forget to hit that likes up button. Subscribe if you're new here or have not done so already. And I will catch you guys on the next one.